Childhood experiences, including trauma and abuse, can profoundly shape our beliefs and behaviors, leaving emotional wounds that may affect our mental health. The journey of forgiveness and healing is not about forgetting or excusing the harm done, but rather about choosing to release the negative emotions and moving forward with compassion. Research has indicated that forgiveness can lead to reduced stress levels, enhanced emotional healing, and better relationships. This blog delves into how forgiveness can be a life-changing force, helping to heal the wounds of childhood with compassion. It may seem paradoxical, but childhood trauma can occur even in a caring environment where a parent's well-intentioned actions can have a lasting impact on children's development. Common parenting mistakes, such as an excessive focus on achievement, can be examples of childhood trauma, setting unrealistic expectations and causing children to question their worth. These experiences can affect every relationship they form into adulthood, eroding self-confidence and potentially leading to a relentless pursuit of perfection. This highlights how the impact of childhood trauma can go unaddressed for years. Conversely, children nurtured by affectionate and attentive parents who celebrate every achievement can develop a skewed self-perception, believing they are faultless and deserving of constant praise. This type of positive parenting, while well-meaning, can inadvertently foster narcissistic tendencies as children grow, leading to an unquenchable need for external validation and approval. Such nurturing relationships are crucial, but they must also encourage emotional intelligence to prevent a cycle of self-centeredness. Human beings often have an inclination to hold others responsible for the pains they experience in life. As we age, grow in maturity, and gain insights through self-realization, it becomes our duty to accept accountability for our own deeds. Nevertheless, this realization does not necessarily put an end to the tendency of assigning blame. For many of us, this pattern begins with nurturing feelings of bitterness towards our parents, believing they failed in their upbringing duties. Many people experience a shift in perspective when they become parents themselves, understanding the true challenges and emotional toll of raising children. Despite this, some may continue to feel a sense of bitterness towards their own parents, pledging to raise their kids in a different manner. However, it's important to acknowledge that most parents are doing their utmost, and clinging to feelings of resentment can only lead to rifts within the family dynamic. These rifts, unless mended, will persistently lead to issues. Forgiveness therapy teaches us that forgiveness is the act of letting go past grievances and negative feelings towards someone who has wronged us. It's not about erasing the past or excusing the harm, but about choosing to release the anger and bitterness through emotional forgiveness. Forgiveness is a decision to move forward with compassion and understanding, a process that, while challenging, can lead to trauma and forgiveness, ultimately fostering peace and healing. Childhood neglect and trauma can leave emotional scars that last a lifetime, influencing our beliefs and behaviors in profound ways. These deep-seated wounds can affect our mental health, relationships, and self-esteem. Forgiveness and healing play a crucial role in mending these wounds, allowing us to let go of the negative emotions that may be holding us back. By embracing forgiveness, we can begin to move forward with greater compassion and understanding, healing ourselves and those who have caused us harm. Research has demonstrated that forgiveness can offer numerous benefits for our mental health, including reducing stress and fostering resilience. Studies have found that forgiveness correlates with lower anxiety levels and higher life satisfaction, while also enhancing relationships and support networks. By adapting coping strategies that include forgiveness, we not only aid our own healing but also contribute positively to the well-being of those around us. Although forgiveness can be a powerful tool in healing childhood trauma, it is often a challenging process that requires overcoming obstacles. Forgiveness therapy and coping strategies can assist in confronting the pain and acknowledging the harm done, which can be a difficult and painful journey. Letting go of long-held anger and resentment is tough, but the mental health benefits of forgiveness make the effort worthwhile, and there are strategies available to help ease the process. Forgiveness is a process that can take time and effort, and it is not always a linear path. 
However, there are some steps that we can take to begin the process of forgiveness. The first step is to acknowledge the pain that we have experienced and the harm that has been done, often a result of trauma. This can be a difficult and emotional step, but it is important to confront our feelings and begin to process them as part of forgiveness therapy. The next step is to choose to forgive, even if we may not feel ready to do so. This can involve recognizing that the person who hurt us may have been struggling with their own pain and that their actions were not a reflection of our worth or value, tapping into the healing power of forgiveness for our mental health and to alleviate stress. There are several strategies that we can use to practice forgiveness. One is to write a letter to the person who hurt us, expressing our feelings and our decision to forgive, which can be a form of forgiveness therapy. This can be a powerful tool for releasing our negative emotions and beginning the process of healing from trauma. Another strategy is to practice mindfulness and self-compassion, which can help us to let go of negative thoughts and emotions. We can also seek support from friends, family, or a therapist, who can help us to process our feelings and provide guidance as we navigate the process of forgiveness. Compassion is an essential component of forgiveness, as it allows us to see the person who hurt us as a human being who is struggling with their own pain and suffering. By cultivating compassion, we can begin to let go of our anger and resentment and move forward with greater understanding and empathy fostering forgiveness and healing. Compassion also allows us to extend emotional forgiveness to ourselves, recognizing that we are not perfect and that we too may have hurt others in the past, which is a crucial step towards self-acceptance. Self-forgiveness is an important part of the forgiveness process, as it allows us to let go of guilt and shame that may be holding us back and contributing to limiting beliefs. Like forgiveness towards others, self-forgiveness can be a challenging process, but one that is essential for our own emotional healing and personal growth. Self-forgiveness involves acknowledging our mistakes and taking responsibility for our actions, while also recognizing that we are worthy of love and compassion. Forgiveness can have a powerful impact on our mental health, helping us to reduce stress and anxiety, improve our relationships, and cultivate greater well-being. However, forgiveness is not a cure-all for mental health problems, and it is important to seek professional help if we are struggling with mental health issues, such as trauma. A therapist can help us to navigate the process of forgiveness and provide support as we work towards healing, especially if we require therapy for childhood trauma. The power of forgiveness is a life-changing force that can help us to heal the wounds of childhood with compassion. Forgiveness is not about forgetting or excusing the harm done, but rather about choosing to release the negative emotions and move forward with understanding and empathy, tapping into the forgiveness and healing process. By practicing forgiveness, we can improve our mental and physical health, cultivate better relationships, and find greater peace and well-being. While forgiveness may be challenging at times, the benefits are worth the effort, and it is a journey that can ultimately lead to greater healing and happiness, helping us to manage stress and trauma.